Hi guys, back with another video for you today. I've got four new fragrances to discuss with you from a new brand called E Suitcase. And the fragrances I'm going to discuss with you are Chao Stronzo, Giramondo, Oca Juliva, and also Party Ammo. If you want to find out about these four fragrances, plus have a... this on the web. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. <laughs> if you want to find out about these four fragrances and also have a chance at winning one fragrance here on YouTube, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time landing on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and also participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So these are fragrances from a house called E Suitcase. They are limited edition fragrances and they will launch 15 fragrances. And E Suitcase is uh, a collection of fragrances where you get a suitcase and you have all 15 fragrances in there. They're 50 ml EDPs and they're distributed by the House of Nobile 1942. A brand that I haven't spoken much about on this channel but I'm sure if you know niche fragrances you know about Nobile 1942. So we have a Chao Stronzo here. This is the first fragrance I sampled which I really loved. It's all about jasmine and you gotta love jasmine. It's a little bit on the skanky side. Then there's uh, also Giramondo which is a very very fresh fragrance. Then you have Oca Juli Juliva, I think that's how you say it, it's Italian. This one's a, a more about a fresh notes, uh, floral notes, fresh floral notes with oud. And this one is a very, very fun, happy, playful, fruity kind of um, playful fragrance. That's why it's called Party Ammo. So the founder, M Mariana Zeni, said there's no real notes pyramid, but there were notes listed on Fragrantica, which I'm going to tell you so you can find out a little bit about them. But there's no notes pr pyramid listed. There is no perfumer cre uh, credited. So you just, you know, test them out and decide and judge yourself. The giveaway is going to be for one bottle of your choice on this channel. It is a USA, Canada, EU, and UK uh, giveaway. Good luck with the giveaway. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the prizes and tell you a little bit about how the fragrances smell. Actually, I'm going to tell you two of the fragrances that I really love. The, the, the how they smell and then uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the other fragrances but the um, the concept as I said is um, the suitcase it's e suitcase that's what this is called if you buy one suitcase and one perfume it's 360 euros you also get a passport perfumes are vacuum packed uh, in uh, these uh, plastic uh, things so you receive them and you have to like open up the vacuum pack this is exactly how I received them they are 150 euros after you buy the the first suitcase and kit otherwise they're 165 euros separately for 50 ml uh, fragrances so the first one that I really love this Chao Stronzo it's the first one that I tested out and I really loved it and I was like really impressed with the quality so this one is all about jasmine but you also have tuberose lily of the valley you have uh, cyclamen geranium you have tonka bean patchouli vanilla musk it's a really really awesome jasmine fragrance but as i said it's a little on the skanky side so you must love skanky jasmine um, but it smells so authentic really really authentic uh, out of the four this is my favorite but I'm, i've been opening up to um, the floral fragrances and i love jasmine so this one starts off very jasmine right at the top but before you get the jasmine, you do experience a little bit of green notes. The green notes are pretty potent, but then they fade away pretty fast because the jasmine opens up, blooms right in your nose or on your nose. Um, you also get the, the tuberose and lily of the valley is really, really prominent here as well. So I think for me, it's all about the jasmine with the lily of the valley. The lily of the valley reminds me a little bit about Dior, uh, a little bit of Diorissimo. If you know that fragrance, you will like this one. Uh, the fragrance dries down to that tonka bean patchouli vanilla musk but again the lily of the valley with the jasmine are pretty much the main players here and they pretty much dominate so that's what I'm pretty much picking up with this one and I really really love it uh, it's a great white floral I think this will be perfect all year round because it's pretty potent and uh, I love the way it smells so that is Chao Stronzo I think that's how you say it now the next one that I really like, these are the two, no, two fragrances that I really like, that's why I put them first. These two, they're just not my taste, uh, but you might like them yourself. But let me show you the bottles that I really like, really colorful bottles. Uh, this one is very, very fresh. This is a perfect summer scent, but let me tell you a little bit about this. This one's called Giramondo. 
So this one is everything you want about citruses. Like it's a citrus bomb. Um, you've got uh, you got lots of bergamot at the top with lemon and tea at the in the top. Sort of kind of like. Um, Maison Margiela is under the lemon tree, but here it bro gets into the heart and you become it becomes floral. So you must like flowers, and I really do, really really do. Here you've got jasmine and lily of the valley, sort of like the jasmine and lily of the valley is transfer transferred here, but it appears in the heart, um, if that makes sense. So you're experiencing those citruses at the top really intensely and then it uh, you know segues into the heart with all the florals but it does dry down to a woody musky fragrance and it's it's not complicated it's a very easy to wear fragrance um, I think it's perfect for summer I think it's perfect for every year I mean I think it's perfect for all year round uh, it's just for summertime I think refreshing fragrances are key for me and this is uh, the kind of fragrance that will do it for me so this is Giramondo which I really like. So those are the two that I really like. And then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about these two. Uh, it just wasn't my style of fragrance. Um, it just, actually if I was to pick, I would pick this one third and then I would pick this one fourth. So that's exactly how I've put them. Um, oh, I think it's called Oka Giuliva. So this one's all about neroli green notes at the top. You've got the heart, uh, rose and olibanum and uh, agarwood or oud in the, in the base. This is the bottle right here. Um, I guess since I experienced a lot of oud fragrances, this one just didn't do it for me. I, I just didn't know if the, the, the fragrance was working for me the way I wanted it to work. But uh, then again, when you sample it yourself, you might like it. But if you like oud, I think it's a pretty uh, decent uh, fragrance uh, as far as oud goes. And the start of the fragrance is pretty nice, the neroli and the green notes. So that one is Oka Giuliva. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. But then this one is Party Ammo. This one was my least favorite. It just didn't work for me, this one, but it's very, very fruity. It's almost very candy-like. So if you like candy, fruity, very, very happy, uplifting kind of uh, fruity fragrances, candy, candied fruits, then this is definitely one for you to try. And with this one, at the top, you've got grapefruit, strawberry, and a champagne note. In the heart, you've got Turkish rose, Moroccan rose, and heliotrope. So two kinds of roses here. And then it dries, supposedly it dries down to a cashmere wood, vanilla, and musk. Uh, I'm not into the candied, fruity kind of fragrances to begin with anyway. And the color of this captured perfectly for this fragrance, I think. Um, this one, actually, the co color is not correct. At least to me, it should have been something like yellow. I think they were just trying to do a color coordination of the fragrances because the colors, but I would have done that in yellow. But this one, the color of the bottle is perfect, I think. It's just exactly the kind of fragrance you're gonna get. Very, very fruity, purple, pink, all of the magenta, all those uh, come to mind. So that one is Party Ammo. And that's pretty much my um, uh, honest uh, opinion about these four fragrances. These two are solid. In fact, this is my number one, uh, my number two, my number three, and my num number four if I'm ranking these four. Guys, are you familiar with E Suitcase? Have you heard about this line? Are you familiar with them? If you've sampled them, let me know. What are your thoughts about the E Suitcase and buying the different ones to fill them up? They are, these are very limited edition fragrances, as I said, and these were sent to me for my honest opinion, and that's what I'm giving to you. If you like Jasmine, you must try this one. It's authentic and beautiful. Now for the giveaway, we're gonna do a, a full bottle giveaway for one lucky subscriber subscriber of this channel from the USA, Canada, EU, and the UK. Of course, people are still complaining we don't do worldwide giveaways. We can't really do worldwide giveaways, but we can do, of course, the main um, uh, markets uh, because of the, the, the brands uh, willing to ship all over. Um, so to participate, let me know which one of these fragrances is your favorite fragrance and also why. Please also put down your country and make sure you're subscribed to the But other than that, guys, let me know your thoughts on this line. Please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.